Hello. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how to test your capacitor using a capacitor tester and a simple household voltmeter. So to start, we're going to be taking the capacitor tester because it's more accurate, more precise, and a little bit easier to use. You simply take one lead and clip it to one side of your capacitor, then you take the other lead and clip it to the other side of your capacitor. Make sure that your capacitor meter is on the under 10 microfarad rating. We're dealing with a 5 microfarad capacitor here. It has a tolerance range of plus or minus 6%. So the number that we're looking to see is going to be somewhere between 4.7 and 5.3 microfarad on this 5 microfarad capacitor. You simply hit the button, and as you can see, we're dealing with about 5.17 microfarad, so this capacitor is good. Same thing if you're dealing, though, with a dual capacitor. Dual capacitor having three terminals on top. Simply hook one side up to the common, the other side will hook up to fan, same rating, it's a 5 microfarad, we hit our button, and this one is at 5.29, so the upper end of our spectrum, but it still falls within the proper range. Now if we want to test the compressor, we leave our terminal on uh, C, take it off of fan, and put it on HERM. We want to adjust our microfarad uh, rating to be above 10. We hit our button, and on this one, we're dealing with 43 microfarad. It's rated at 40, so again, the upper end of the spectrum, but this capacitor is good. Very simple to do. If you want a capacitor tester, we do sell them in our store at North America, HBAC.com. But most people, what they have in their home is a common household voltmeter. So the question is, can you do the same test with a household voltmeter? Yes and no. You can tell whether or not the capacitor is good, but the information you're going to be, be getting is not going to be as precise as with a capacitor tester. So let's demonstrate this. We'll take this capacitor, turn our voltmeter on, and we want to go to the ohm setting. I like an ohm setting of around 200K here. Makes it probably the best setting for me to work with. And the voltmeter has a 9 volt battery. What we're going to see is when we place our leads on the capacitor, the capacitor stores electricity, it's going to begin being charged by the 9 volt battery in our meter. So as we're on the volt, uh, excuse me, the ohm setting at about 200K, we're going to see that the ohm setting, when we apply our connectors, will rise up. So we connect one, connect two, and the ohm setting on the capacitor went rapidly up past 200. So I'm going to flip the leads now and do it again, put on one, put on two, and just the same way, the ohm setting went up above 200 quite rapidly. You can do the same thing with a dual capacitor, put it on, uh, on the C terminal, and if we want to do the compressor, we would go to the HERM, put one terminal on each side, the number slowly rises up. When you switch, you're going to start out with a negative number, and that number will go back to zero, and then it will rise up again, exceeding your scale. When you're testing the compressor, the voltmeter is going to respond more slowly than it does when you can test the uh, fan side because there's more capacitance, a higher capacitor rating for the compressor that slows down the rating. Now if it turns out you do need a capacitor, be sure to visit us at NorthAmericaHVAC.com. We sell all sizes, shapes, brands, and ratings of capacitors. So we'll be sure to have the one that you need. And if you need help identifying yours, just be sure to have the part number of the capacitor or the model number of the unit that the capacitor goes in and drop us an email at info at NorthAmericaHVAC.com. Lastly, if you're during work hours between 8 and 4 p.m. Eastern Time, you can go to our website, go to the top middle of the page and click the live chat button. It will connect you to a live chat operator who can help you right there and send you the link to the capacitor you need to get cool.